welcome back to Smith Shiro YouTube channel. Today we're back working on the Mark 1 Rabbit pickup. We're getting the AHU TDI engine with an O2A that we put a O2J shifter. Uh, we, we put that all in the car, so that's in the car, that's in the car. There will be its own video on that. Uh, we are mounting it with the Tech 53 engine mount or trans mount, and we have a stock gas uh, engine mount over there again you should have there should be a video i'll link it somewhere um maybe in the description but today uh our goal is to get this mounted in the car We're probably gonna have issues i've never put one of these setups in the car so we'll see how it fits obviously you gotta fight with getting it in there getting it in there bolting in place so the plan of attack is to have it on the little dolly we have a lift we'll raise the car up with mark ones you always put the engine in from underneath so we'll roll it underneath get it lined up where it needs to go we'll lower the car down as far as we can go and then you can see i have the little engine stabilizer bar on it we'll use that to lift it raise it kind of even it out so we can get the two bolts which are right there two 17 millimeter bolts and then um, we'll get that in place. Then the, we'll have the engine hanging and then we can start uh, finalizing the engine swap. I forgot that with Mark 1s you gotta kind of, you gotta put them in on like that kind of an angle. So, cause if you put them in just like that, the mounts won't line up. Put, start the trans wall first and then lift up the engine side of it and then put that bolt in. And then uh, always let it settle. I have like, I have the bolts pretty much all the way in and then I let the engine settle and then I finish tightening them up. And uh, one thing I forgot, I forgot to leave the snub mount on. So, unfortunately, I'll have to pull the starter off, but it's not a huge deal. And then the alternator, we could not get the engine in with the alternator on. And the same with the timing cover, we were just bumping into it. So, we just took it off just so we didn't break it. So, we'll put that back on. If there's any sort of more adjustment, the cutting we'll have to do. I'm thinking there is for right here. We'll just have to notch it a little bit more. As of now, everything's in. We're going to do the front engine mount, stub mount, cross mount, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to raise it up in the air and I'll do the trans mount and stuff like that. So, see you in a minute. Hey guys, quick little thing on the alternator. I, um, well actually, this bolt, this is the re regular alternator bolt, goes right there. And it's a bit too long. So you, you can't physically get it in because of the frame rail on the Mark 1. So I have a random bolt. So I didn't have to cut this bolt down and also you can see that this bolt's been over torqued and it's really thin in the middle so this this bolt's about to snap anyway but you can see held up next to each other i took about 10 mil off you can get a gauge on that but you'll see that now this bolt will actually go in and then i'm going to thread it in make sure i get good thread engagement you can't physically get a 13 on the uh, tensioner anymore so what I always do is get one of these big goofy adjustable wrenches and then you can just uh, pry off of here. It's still really dangerous because if you slip off you'll break your fingers so you gotta be super super careful. Alright, the bolt is physically in the hole now I just gotta tighten it up. That worked out good. I got plenty of engagement on both bolts. Now we can throw the belt on. We're underneath the car now, we're putting the mounts on. Uh, I already got the bolts started up front with the snub mount. So you can see like engine doesn't rock forward now. We're onto this back one. What I always do is put some grease on 
just the studs themselves. And these, these are slotted, so you can kind of adjust. So we'll see. O2J trans mount is actually slotted as well. So you can dial in exactly where you need your mount. Come on. That went on really easy. I've done O2Js in the past and it's, I've done ones where it's next to impossible. It'll probably take you an hour to try to line this thing up. Staying with stock pieces, making this mount like that. I mean, you, you can't ask for a better, better fitment than that. Up here are just the two 13s. I just gotta tighten them up and then this is a solid piece again. I always, like I said, I always run these in snug and it's really hard to tighten it from up top. So I always just come down here with a short socket and you're right there and you can tighten it up plenty. So the next fitment issue I see is the big diesel oil filter. Uh, like that seems like damn near impossible to change. And I also can't tighten this bolt because of it. I'm just gonna go back to a, uh, a smaller 1AT filter and that should give us plenty of room. We're not gonna worry about the capacity. You know, this it's already in a Mark 1. The engine's gonna be cooler. So this filter was too big. I couldn't even get it out of the car. I had to take a pry bar and pry the engine back to get it out. So definitely don't use a big filter, but the stock 1AT filter's on there, it seals. Uh, we should be good to go with that. And I have all the bolts tight now. Welcome back to the Smith Hero YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be taking a break on the Mark 1 Caddy truck. Uh, we're doing the AHU, TDI, and O2J, O2A swap in. We're gonna be taking a little break from that because today um, I've made an appointment for the dyno and we're taking the Mark II.